Welcome to Soda Club. My name is Brian Belcher. I'm joined with Brittany Satter and Chris It's the Hutch Hutcherson. And on this episode, thanks to you guys for requesting it so damn much, we're drinking Nuka Cola Quantum by Jones Soda. And as you can see, we have three bottles. They're the only three bottles in existence because I went to Target <laughs> and instead of selling four packs, they sold them one at a time at, to one per person. They, yeah, they limited your quantities to like it was Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, while we are, while we do have the actual product, uh, the funny thing about this exact product is that Joan Soda has already made it before. And just with a different label. So we went out and bought that, and here we go. And that's what we're going to drink. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I'll go, go ahead. Uh, Brittany, presentation. What do you think of Nuka Quantum? Okay. Nuka Quantum. Well, first of all, for this to be like such a demanding product, like everyone wants it. I don't think they did a very good job with it. I mean, first of all, the label is not that pretty. I think it's pretty ugly. Does it look like the label in the game? Like, <clears throat> no. no. Nothing about this looks like anything in and the then game. Except I, maybe like the Nuka Cola font. I think a huge missed opportunity is the bottle cap. The top is the same as the other Jones soda. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a J. It, actually, and everything is I, exactly the same. I don't play same. Fallout, but I know enough about Fallout to know that you collect the bottle caps, and that's how you buy things, right? Which is weird. They say save your caps on the side of it, and they use the right type of bottle cap image, but, but why which is not they, this Why didn't they cap. put something special well, on top? Here's you know? the problem. This bottle and this bottle are the exact same thing with the exception of the paper label going around it. It's so, even the same flavor, which I, I think is also kind of lazy. I mean, it's lucky for us because we don't have to open these bottles, but um, I think it's kind of lazy that they just stick, stuck with the same flavor. That being said, I kind of understand. Uh, I mean, I get like they, the they, probably, they probably picked Jones Soda because it's the correct color. Yeah. And they were like, oh, it'll be easy. And hey, we don't have to totally, you know, make up a whole new flavor. It yeah, tastes good. Uh, well, we'll go but find I out. Feel like, I feel like with the amount of work they put into it, maybe these shouldn't have been as rare as they were. That, this definitely should have been more widely available. Regardless of work or not, I don't know, guys. Papers at a premium, you know, <laughs> and so is ink, you know, because people don't print stuff hey, anymore. Hey, this shit so. is purple. That's the royal color. <laughs> <laughs> also, mm. does, does y'all have the product of Canada stamped right on the neck? Oh shit! This is a product of Canada, yeah. which is, I think, it's just like bam, it's there. It's, it's on also, the front. Of it's mine. also on the side of the right. Well, I mean, it's on the front of mine. I don't know how you guys feel about having like a stamp like right there, bam. Maybe they should have gone front. with a uh, Boston uh, bottling company. This is one thing that wow. really disappoints me, though, is uh, I've been playing the new Fallout 4. As you can see, we, me and Hutch both own the Pip boy edition. And the bottles and the graphic design and everything for the in-game uh, drink is amazing. Yeah. It looks like a little rocket ship. Mm. They should have done that. It would uh, like it would have been a big collectible then. This is just kind of like a eh, collectible. I, we still have it, but it's still pretty neat. But uh, you know what? Is it good? Does it taste good? Let's find out. Me and Brittany already know, but let's find out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really the only one who's going into this blind. Well, I really haven't had this in a couple of years. It's so. been a few years for me, so... Oh, the little metal thing came with it. Com completely yep. metal. That's oh, yeah. It always comes off like that. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, can... Hey, save your caps, the guys. Types of smell the berry. These oh, are the types of words that say things on them, like, so beautiful. All right, all right. So, yeah, it definitely has that berry smell. Also, I'm, we should uh, tell them this is made with pure cane sugar. Okay. It's cane sugar soda. Yep. It says it right on the bottle. So. Keeping it real. Good. Keeping it diabetic. All right. All right. So here we go. It. Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. 
That's good. You know, I think it tastes exactly like Gamer Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of close, yeah. Well, like... and that was Berry Lime, and this one's Berry Lemonade. Guys, we need to just change this to <laughs> Berry... Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> berry Variation Soda Club. <laughs> yeah, I think it tastes the same as the Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel. Okay. It's, it's good, though. I think it tastes better. I think the best thing about my bottle is the fact that it has a picture of a dude uh, looking scared with a growling bear in his face. That's actually one of my favorite things about Jell and Sodas. They always put a different picture on each uh, label. Mine's a lady laughing. Yeah, mine mine is. Her sunglasses are really funny. (laughs) Do we have the same one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me and Brittany got the same one. Hud's got the fun one. You're the winner. Winner, winner, chicken. What does your cap say? Because they say different things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mine says, you are heading in the right direction. You will make a profitable investment. You will die a horrible death. (laughs) Hutch? Well, I guess you're the loser after all. Actually, (laughs) so the thing it says here is actually a little more interesting. It says, Wednesday is the day to make your move. You make your move every Wednesday. Exactly. Does it really say On Hanging with Hutch. (laughs) Hanging with Hutch. Wednesday night. (laughs) On twitch.tv slash half empty energy tank. So, okay, overall, would you, like, with the exception of the whole quantum bullshit uh, and not being able to find it, would you get this on the regular? Hutch, what do you think? Uh, No, because actually, although I did like Gameful when I first tried it, I kept drinking it. It's way too sweet for me, and it's not a product I can continue to consume, and this is very sweet as well. It's too much for me. Okay. I I used to love gym soda when I was younger, when I was a kid, I guess. I was like, sugar, sugar. But I don't know if I could finish this now. I don't think I would get it. Plus, I only bought it every now and then when I was a kid because it was expensive. My mom would buy it for me all the time. Um, Because <laughs> how much is it for, like, a four-pack? Uh, it's like $7. Yeah. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot for soda. Uh, one, Look at how much Sailor Moon stuff I could buy with that. I think of Jones Soda as, like, a... Um, like a special drink. Like, Minnesota. for example, they have, yeah. <laughs> they have, uh, weird ass flavors, like peanut butter and jelly is a flavor. And then they have the holy shit, uh, the whole Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, box. they do the Thanksgiving one every year, too. And so. that's where you can get turkey, gravy, cranberry sauce. Uh, green beans, everything as a soda. I don't think green beans is Green beans. There, Brittany, there's some really disastrous can't. flavors. We should try that. No, I was going to say, can <laughs> yes, we not try yes, that? Yes, viewers, you can make this happen. Let us know if you want us to try the Thanksgiving box. Thanksgiving us, meal in liquid form. Let us know and then pay for it because I think it's like $70. We will, no, it's not oh. that much. It's not that much. I don't know how much it is, but it's like ridiculous. Donate today. I hope it's $200 so we don't have to pay money for it. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have a yard sale. I'm gonna have a bake sale on the side. You gonna, you gonna, gonna raise the money? Brittany's, Brittany's excited. <laughs> We're to gonna raise her that body. money. <laughs> the last, the last episode, <laughs> it was Hutch. This episode, it's you. You just all uh, yeah. Look, I know I decided on Nuka Cola. It's my decision, <laughs> but we have to live with it. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for this episode of Soda Club. Uh, the only reason there's even a second one is because of you. So thank you so much for supporting us. And if you'd like to continue that trend, we're going to be giving away one of these awesome, kind of awesome <gasps> Nuka Cola quantums. If we hit 1,000 viewers, <laughs> we'll send this to a lucky commenter on our YouTube page. Brian, that's crazy. I like how you're, we crapped all over it and we're like, how- we'll give this away. <laughs> this seems like it's a high demand product. Oh, well, on oh, eBay, yeah, it's running is. around seventy bucks right now. Mm. That's so, outrageous. Well, yeah, it's a two. two we can get a for, whole case of Jones soda for that much. We, you know what? If we sell one, <laughs> we'll buy the Thanksgiving crate with it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> and Hutch is going to hate everyone. No. It's going to no. be vomit everywhere. <laughs> Oh, Put that in a bank account. Watch your money grow. I'm excited, <laughs> I'm excited for that. Oh, oh man. God. The future is... The future is now. No, the future is bright. Okay. Sure. <laughs>